Hi guys, Joel from Artistic Coffee Roasters. Today we're talking cupping. So cupping is a standard, standardized brew method where we've got a certain amount of coffee ground at a certain size and water heated up to the same temperature each time using the same volume of water. Being a very repeatable process, it helps us assess and compare different roasts, beans, blends and so forth. We use it in a number of different ways. Uh, it's probably the best tool that a roaster has. Uh, it's not all about what happens over there at the roaster, it's being able to assess the flavour profiles of each roast and, and, and go from there to improve blends, single origins. Um, we use it in a number of different ways in our business. If we're looking at a potential uh, bean, you know, a certain origin or, uh, you know, processing method, we'll get a sample of that in and we'll use the cupping process to assess whether that's going to be something that we want to move forward with as far as suitability goes for um, its application, whether that be a blend or a single origin. If we do decide to go on with that bean, cupping is still a really important part of the development process of blending that into other beans, seeing how that works, and also testing different roast profiles on that coffee before we put it in, into production. So it's a really, really handy tool as a metric that's the same week in, week out uh, to compare flavor profiles and make tweaks from there. What we're actually going to be doing today is a post-production cupping. So we've finished roasting for the day. We're gonna go through and taste every single sample that we roasted. Okay, so let's get into it. So that's cupping. Essentially, it's that repeatable week in, week out method that we can uh, taste our coffees and compare them. Hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell icon so you get updated every time we release a new video. Thanks for watching.